Hello everybody, Paul Meany here. Let's go through Chlorine by 21 Pilots. There's two main avenues that a producer is going to normally work in. And if the analogy was being a home contractor, it's either new construction or renovation. When you're building a song from scratch, it is new construction for the artist. And then sometimes, which is a more traditional role, the artist brings the song in demo form, and then it's more of a renovation project. You're helping to pick finishes, perhaps redo the floor plan a little bit, try to figure out varying degrees of how you can help in the renovation process. And I enjoy both. Tyler came in with the demo for this, which I will play for you. And the song was very much on its feet. As a matter of fact, a lot of the vocal work that Tyler did is what's on the final record. Sipping on straight glory. It was a super special song, you can tell right away. We put it on the table. Usually the workflow there is you get the demo project, all the multi-tracks of it, and then you go in on each part and trying to figure out, all right, what can be bettered? How do we spice it up? So the first place that we go in on is the drums. Let you hear the original drums that we recorded for Chlorine. drum sound and we were wondering if that's the vibe and as we began to build the song out and get an aesthetic going we realized that wasn't the vibe that was more going to be the vibe for the outro and sometimes it's good even within a song you change the drum picture the first half of the song we wind up going with this as our drum track and then we had hi-hat separate and then it was programmed elements that got added to that so we had a kick, let's see. We had this battery kick, we had an addictive kick that comes in. And we had an 808. Then this is a snare sample, it doubles with the snare. And I had this hat sample. Had it from my old ASR 10. We really wanted more of a, a 90s sort of backpack beat. And then all together, it sounds like a congealed beat. And the style of the beat gets more controlled this way. It still has a nice organic feel, but it is very electronically put together. And we have these extra snare samples. This was from the original demo. This was the addictive drums, this little hi-hat ghost snare pattern. The bass approach on this is a few different layers as well. This is the bass guitar that is doubled with a synth bass. And then there is the Nord synth that Tyler has. We put the Nord synth to work a lot on this album. And that's kind of the bass vibe. So we have this talking sample that starts right at the top. Sometimes, I don't know, you want to start a song with just a shake up, a shake up of the edge of sketch coming out of whatever song is in front of it. We were in random mode. It is Tyler and myself. Here's without the effects. So where are you? It's been a little while. It's been a little while. It's been a little while. A little while. A little while. A wacky and wild. <laughs> okay, so then there's piano. So this was the main piano that Tyler had laid down in the demo. This is some really nice keyscape piano here. And then sort of the, the high piano sample, I went to this old piano I had just gotten. Let me go show you. 
So this is the Chlorine Piano. It's an old Gavo French piano that I found at a consignment shop and just was quirky and it's just got a vibe and especially in the high area. So whenever I'm looking for inspiration for just something random, I'll come mess around on this thing. For Chlorine, it was an idea of just trying to get something kind of sparkly at the top. Bunch of different variations. I just voice memoed that right on my phone and then I took those recordings and went back to the computer and dropped it in a sampler. Is it here on one key and another take on the right side? It's kind of doing a double, but where it starts to not double is in the end, which was kind of ambiguous, which I didn't really know how to end that thing. I kept messing with different options. I decided to take my two favorite options and let the end sort of dissipate into a harmony. One side is this, other side is this, and you'll hear how it creates a harmony in the end. Then I added one more piano to just give it a melody right at the end. So it's just this. It gives it a nice sparkle, extra little ear candy. And this wound up being a, a nice piece of candy. We got both. Got a lead, a double, a triple. Got the low okay. guy. It's just great. It's just great TJ vocal production right there. He really captured the vibe. When I leave, don't say my seat. I'll be back when it's all complete. The moment is medical. Select your key, and then you get all these chord inversions. It's really nice. It's a different chord on each key. They're expressive too. There's a little second verse bonus. Yeah. So this is a little trumpet stab. So one thing I like doing is to get the crappy Logic Pitch Shifter plugin. You know, you can just flex pitch these. A flex pitch is cleaner. Pitch shifting it, it, it kind of just degenerates it. You can hear it kind of getting pulled and... And so that kind of adds to the sound of the sample. It's very subtle. Now this part here, this is a great moment of Tyler just pushing himself where he felt it could be better from the demo. The original demo had more of a talky rap. Simple, you wrapped around my head, now different lives I lead. My body lives on lead, the last two lines may read. Incorrect until said, the lead is terrible in flavor. He was feeling like it wasn't unique enough and it wasn't enough of a thing, didn't have the right energy. Honestly, I was a little skeptical he was gonna be able to beat it, uh, but he did. Right when he sent this as the new bridge, it was immediate. It's like, man, that boy's good. Hide you in my coat pocket where I kept my rebel red. Felt I was invincible, you wrapped around my head. Now different lives I lead. It's three my vocals. Body lives on lead. The last two lines may read. Incorrect unto said. The lead is terrible in flavor. But now you double as a paper maker. So great. Tyler has his own approach to how he used those pitched vocals as doubles, as harmonies. And I think he's really carved out a unique place that he kind of owns when it comes to this. Great vocal work. So yeah, this is the third time we heard the chorus. Which is a road sample, chopped up. Nice. These drums are 
being combined with a reverse version of that. A reverse verb on the right, and then an actual reverse version of this drum beat. And then and some hats. There's your beat. Contact strings. Some Juno. We have a nice outro moment. You know, we knew when we heard this song that this was going to be a single contender, and he wanted to create a moment for something that felt like a single that would be very not single to do, that would definitely be cut from any sort of radio version. And there was something that was going to be surface level for the world to be able to react to. But the true depth that is about this sort of uh, love-hate, it's good for me, but it's poisonous relationship with music that Tyler is grappling with, um, it was a really, I think, meaningful move uh, to have this outro that was going to get cut from the version that was serviceable to the public really summed up I think what Trench aimed to do and I'm really pleased with how this came out and how it served the album. Oh there's another nice sample. I think that's me. This is a baseball meeting.